everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday! It, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day, so what better than to talk about clothes inside? I'm joking, hopefully you can watch this seated in the garden, enjoying the sun with a cup of tea. Today I'm doing a video about the most worn items in my wardrobe. I was going to do a video about my slogan t-shirt collection because quite a few people have picked up there's a lot going on in that department, but I wasn't really sure about how to kind of film that, whether you wanted kind of more of a lookbook, so let me know about that because I will go back to that. But for today I wanted to talk to you through the most worn items in my wardrobe because especially around this time of year I've been picking out the same kind of pieces to style outfits with so I thought I'd talk you through those. I really like seeing these videos, I know a few other bloggers have done these and it's really useful to kind of, it's more of a, I feel like it's more of a collected or curated capsule wardrobe video for someone because it's more personal than just saying hey you need a striped top, you need a blazer, you need a fedora hat, it's more personal to that person so I think talking through someone's most worn items is almost like seeing a capsule wardrobe video for that person's particular style so I thought I'd talk you through about 10 of the items that I've been loving the most so let's get going. The first item which you may have to pardon because all being most worn items some of them look more loved than others the first item are of course my Superga trainers these are definitely one of the most worn pairs of shoes I have. These are the leather ones, so they I feel they wear slightly better, but it does mean that I can't put them in the wash, I think, because I feel that that would ruin them. I absolutely love these. I feel like a trainer like this looks great with everything. It looks really cool with a midi dress, kind of paring everything down. It looks great with jeans, great with little summery skirts, great with midi skirts, especially if you want to wear the pleated midi skirt trend. Pairing them with a cool pair of trainers kind of adds something a little bit retro, a bit grease-like. They're also really comfortable. I wore these all day the other day to meetings, and I wear them all day, kind of every day when I'm walking the dog. As you can tell, they're not in the best condition, but they are definitely something I really love. Especially if, you know, it's that weird in-between season where you don't want to wear boots because they look a bit clunky. You don't want to wear sandals because, you know, feet get cold. These are a really nice in-between, and they also add a nice casual effect to any look. So, really love these. On the subject of shoes, I thought I'd talk you through another pair of shoes that I have been wearing to death recently, and it is these espadrilles. I am a little bit late to the espadrille party. I bought a pair last year, which I think I spent, I didn't spend a lot of money on them, but they weren't that comfortable. And these are the one pair of shoes I do feel it makes a lot of difference if you put a little bit more money into them. That, or if you buy them from a really good retailer. I bought a pair, I think maybe from ASOS, which were great, they were really cheap, but they just didn't feel comfortable after a few hours, which kind of makes them a little bit redundant if you're not paying a lot. I bought these though from Castaner, Castaner, um, who are on Netaporte, on Netaporta, um, and they are also on Farfetch. They have their own website, which is actually where I bought these from because I saw them on Matches, and then they went out of stock, and they never came back. They do look a little bit dirty because I've worn them so much, but I absolutely love the fact they are pink with this really gorgeous kind of maroon blush colour which looks really cool with a lot of things in my wardrobe at the moment. But the thing I love most about these is how bloody comfortable they are. They honestly are really soft. The fabric around the toe is really soft, kind of stretchy, and it's also got a bit of leather, so it kind of doesn't hurt your toes too much. That is the problem I get with a lot of espadrilles. I feel they kind of squish my toes in a little bit. The wedge is really soft, it's really comfortable. It's not too high, so it's really easy to walk in, and I've actually found a knack for keeping the string up my leg because Damn! With shoes like this, Joe can vouch for me here that they just do not stay up. Every five minutes, I'm just like, one minute, I need to sort my shoes out. But with these, I feel they kind of last, they kind of can gather around the ankle a bit, but it looks quite cool, quite chic. And I absolutely love them. I'm looking at hopefully investing in a pair of the black ones or the white ones. My friend Carrie has both, and after seeing them and a few other bloggers I love wearing them, I'm just like, I think I need to do it for summer. I think I need to do it. But I absolutely love these. Great transitional piece and something I've been wearing so much of. Another of my most worn items, I, can't, I feel like I'm veering into accessories very early on already, but I'm going to start with accessories, is this bag from And Other Stories. This is my favourite bag. I got this perhaps late last year, I think maybe December, and I've used it non-stop since. The reason I love it so much is because I feel it has the functionalities of like a basket bag, in the sense it's got these really lovely little handles so you can use it and feel whimsical, like Belle from Beauty and the Beast or something. But it has the practicalities of something a bit more sturdy, so as you can see it's kind of like a bucket style, it's got quite a wide bottom area, actually fits in my Canon Mark III, which if you know is a really, really hefty camera, just about fits that in with some headphones and my phone. It's just a really, really good bag, it's got a really nice thick strap so you can kind of wear it crossbody, and it's just, I think it's a really cool bag, people comment on it all the time, I think it's got a really beautiful design and it kind of looks... 
a little bit pricier than it is. It's not the cheapest bag in the world, but still from the high street, so I think it's a really nice cool investment piece which looks really gorgeous in the evening and it also looks great during the day it's just really versatile and I've just pretty much worn it non-stop since I had it and there is no sign of any scuffing any wear and tear no scratches and I'm not the most loving person sometimes to bags I kind of just bash them around put them on the floor on the tube I don't nurture it that much and it hasn't really shown any sign of wear which you know that is really impressive so good job go team now for the last accessory, it is these sunglasses, which are Celine. I'm not really a designer sunglasses person, mainly because I feel like I can't ever find a pair that suits my face shape. So my face is quite square. I feel that sometimes if I wear something quite small, it makes my face look like the moon. And I just, I struggle to find good sunglasses. And these aren't the cheapest, but the shape on these I feel actually it does me favours, it fits my face and whenever I wear them I feel like Victoria Beckham which I think is only ever a good thing and I just feel really cool so absolutely love these, these are the one pair of sunglasses that whenever I can't find them I'm just like oh my god where are they and I haven't found a high street replica or dupe of them yet, I will have a look especially for this video, I'll have a scour on the internet because they are great, they're really sturdy, good thick arms, they just do the job and I absolutely love them. Moving on to clothes now, the big thing, the big thing. The first item that definitely falls into my most worn because I've worn them for a few years now, I've still got my wardrobe and I've since picked up a few variations of them because I love them so much, are these gingham trousers. These are from Topshop and I have had these I think about two or three years and every year I just pull them out and I love them and they look great with everything. They're a really good winter trouser because they look great with jumpers and knits but equally they look really cool with things like this, like with the little blouses, and they're really comfortable, they're really nice, high-waisted. I bought a pair more recently, which I've posted about, which have a little frill on the bottom, so slightly more trend-led, but they both just look great with everything. They're a nice kind of balance between something slightly more tailored, if you want something smarter, that goes with heels, perhaps for the office, and something that's just quite casual as well. Looks great with those trainers, looks great with ballet flats, and it's just a nice kind of weekendy, casual piece, weekday, whenever any day of the week but I really love them they're really really gorgeous fabric and I just I wear them all the time and I just don't think I'm ever going to be able to give them up because I'm just quite obsessed with them and you know gingham is all the rage at the moment so big love for these a couple more items I've been absolutely loving and these are really boring so pardon the boring chat but a white t-shirt so I've picked up the first one I'm going to talk about actually maybe a year or so ago and I wear it all the time it's a bit creased but whenever it's in the wash, I just feel lost without it. And I think this video is perhaps what it should be called. It should be called items that when they're in the wash, I don't know what to do with myself because all of these pieces are things that when they go through the ironing pile, I'm like, where are they? I haven't found them. I can't wear them. So they just get so much wear. And the first is this little white long sleeve t-shirt from Brandy Melville. I really love this, but because I've had it so long, it is starting to stretch a little bit. It's not got the same kind of shape that it had when I first bought it, but I have worn it a long time. It wasn't the most expensive piece. I also have a very similar one from Cos, which has more of a boat. Is it a boat? Boat neckline? No. <laughs> Yacht neckline. <laughs> What's it called? Like, um, what is this neckline called? Answers on a postcard. Anyway, boat chat over. This one is slightly more fitted. It's got quite a, maybe a slash neck, we'll call it that. And it's slightly more fitted. It's almost a bit leotard-like without the kind of poppers, etc. But I absolutely love white t-shirts, mainly because I think they look so cool and timeless with like high-waisted blue jeans, great with trainers. They look great with like, those gingham trousers again, great with skirts. They're just a really nice piece, that I think, if you really struggle to put an outfit together. They're just a good basic to have and they're really flattering, especially when they're slightly more fitted, I think I find them really good for my figure. I like to think they're kind of a Jane Birkin essential where they just tuck in and you're good to go and I really, really love these two. So these are very much in my most worn pile. The next item I'm gonna be talking about is this shirt from Madewell. This is one of my most cherished items. I got it last September when I was in New York after going away with Lucy Williams who is one of the coolest girls I know, she always looks amazing, and I'm just like, how? Teach me how. But she had this on with like, I think she had it on with like maybe a white vest and jeans or like cargo trousers. She just looked very cool. Anything she wears looks cool. But I saw this in Madewell and I was like, I need it. And I haven't really worn kind of like a flannel shirt in years, probably since, I don't know, MySpace days when I used to wear check flannel shirts with like bodycon dresses and like DMs. I don't know, it's been a while. But I saw this and I was like, wow, she made it look cool. It's kind of like the effortless, I'm just gonna throw this on, do a bit of painting around the house kind of shirt. But I picked it up and I wear it all the time. 
and it's really good because it's quite cosy, it almost acts as like a jacket sometimes when you don't want to put a jumper on or a leather jacket. This is a really nice piece, it looks great with little t-shirts underneath, great with the vests and or even buttoned up to the top if you're just thinking. If you want pure comfort, this is it and it's just really lovely, it's quite oversized and boy friendly but I absolutely love it. And Made will have some really great pieces like this, really good basic staple pieces that just look cool with like little cutoffs and just take you through from day to night, any day of the year. Absolutely love it. Moving on to this navy jumper. This is one I picked up from and other stories because then wear is the best. It's probably some of the most reasonable on the high street. It's not the cheapest, but I think for the quality combined with the price, it is the most reasonable because this jumper is kind of like a boiled soft wool. I think it was about 35 pounds, which personally I think is really good for a great knit and it's not shrunk, it's not changed shape and I can just wash it, leave it and it kind of goes back to exactly how it should be. And this is gorgeous because it looks really cool, again, tucked in with jeans. I love wearing it on days where it's kind of sunny but still quite nippy. And I love wearing it tucked in with a big belt, kind of like, even those espadrilles, the jeans that I've got on, which I will talk about in a minute, and it's just great, it's slightly oversized, I feel a little bit like Steve Jobs when I wear it, but hey, is that ever a bad thing? I don't think it is, and I love it, it's really cool, they've got some really great knits, and I think a good navy knit is a really nice piece to have in your wardrobe, because I think navy is slightly less harsh than black, especially in the summer, it's nice to throw on with dresses, and it's just, I don't know, it goes with everything, look how much it goes with my red nails. I couldn't do a video all about my wardrobe most worn without talking about slogan t-shirts so I picked up a couple of my favourites which of course is this cherry bomb one which I, I've worn in videos before, you, you know that and also this one which is from Mink Pink and I'm obsessed with it and it says Enchanted and because I've not stopped watching Beauty and the Beast it feels very appropriate I'm going to see it tomorrow night and if Joey won't get too embarrassed I'm going to wear this Joe's like, no, you're bloody not. But I think it's a really cool top. It's kind of retro inspired, but it's a slight nod for any Disney fans out there. So I really love that. What do I need to say about slogan tops apart from the fact that they're great and everyone needs them? Check out Suzanne as well for some really cool ones. In the UK, one thing I love wearing in the summer, especially when it starts warming up, are midi dresses. Namely because I don't love wearing anything too short because I'm quite conscious of my pins because A, they're very pasty and this girl doesn't go to the gym a lot, so not my strongest point, but, and it gets really chilly in the UK, so I don't like feeling the cold, we've spoken about heat tech vests before, so I really just love a good midi dress, and I have a few in my wardrobe, but I picked out this one, probably because it's my newest purchase out of the midi dress sector, and because I absolutely love it, and I cannot wait to wear it, and it's from a brand called Rixo, which I've only just gone on to net it, but I've always, always loved them, they were stocked on their own shop for ages, and I was admiring a lot of their dresses for a really long time, um, and they're gorgeous, the prints on them are stunning, and what I love about this dress is how beautifully made it is. It's got these gorgeous buttons all along the front, but the inside lining of this dress is absolutely amazing. It's got this beautiful silk fabric in the inside, like the front is kind of a really soft cotton, and the inside is a really gorgeous silk, and the attention to detail on this dress is absolutely unbelievable. And it's when you save up and spend a bit more money on things like this that I do think this is the kind of thing I'm going to have in my wardrobe for years. And I really appreciate how well made it is. I don't know an awful lot about the brand, but things like this I just love having in my wardrobe. And they are the most worn things come this time of year. Again, this with espadrilles, basket bag, you're sorted. Oh, I could get married in this as well. Joe's like, no, no. <laughs> last but not least, I feel like I'm wearing the last few pieces I would talk about, and that is of course a blouse, a white blouse, because I have so many. This is one of my current favourites. The sleeves are just a great storage system, really. You can put snacks in here, it's great. But I love the detail, I love the, fl the florals, could get my words out there. And then these jeans. I talk about jeans all the time, but these jeans are my favourite. These are the ASOS Farley jeans, and I cannot sing highly enough about them. They are my favourite jeans from pretty much all brands. I've not tried every jeans brand in the world, but of all the jeans I've tried, I think these are my probably the pair that I feel most comfortable in. They're high-waisted, the straight leg, slightly skinny, but still comfortable enough that it looks, I don't know, it looks cool. It's not too fitted to the ankle, which I really love, but the fact they're quite high-waisted just is so flattering. I think they look great on a lot of figures as well. They're not necessarily limited to one figure. They're high-waisted, but they also are straight legs, so they're not necessarily that skinny, but they just are so flattering and they look great with everything. I've got the light wash on at the moment, 
I do have the indigo pair upstairs and I just can't get enough of them. And that is a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed kind of more of a sneak peek into my wardrobe. The most worn things I've been loving. Hope I didn't waffle too much. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. There will be another fashion video coming very soon. There's going to be some more interviews with people, which is very exciting. I've listened to some comments, so hopefully I can get some more great people on. Really hope you've been enjoying those too, and I think that's everything. So enjoy your Sunday, enjoy the sunshine, and I will see you next week. Bye!